Something Studio 5 contributor Connie Sokol said a while back caught our attention. Just a few quick lines about why she puts her thoughts down on paper, but her words stuck with us. Take a look. Journals are so helpful. Mm -hmm. There's different kinds. There's a throwaway journal where I am just so angry. You write that and then you delete it. You're like, that was a tough day. But then there's learning journals and it's writing down facts about what's happening so that when you go back weeks, days later, you can see patterns. So we're circling back to learn more about the benefits of journal writing, this time focusing on ways to make journal writing work for you. Back to Basics founder Connie Sokol is back here with me. Now here's the thing, you admit when this topic comes up among women, journal writing you sometimes get a lot of eye rolls for sure because I think women look back to the old days or like laborious or a pioneer journal that has to be like this and you start with today I went to the store you know <laughs> it's like this Herculean thing or it's got to be chronological and it doesn't you say it can be actually really simple where's the first place women should start if they do want to kind of chronicle their life a little bit and, and yes. journey that jot that journey down just do it organically that works for you and I encourage them to start with one of the senses so you don't have to write it down I know my daughter loves photography and pictures work better for her. I know one gal, she does it through Instagram and just a picture a day and that's her journal. So you could do it that way or you can do it verbally. I drive around and I have a little microphone like on the iPhones. Mm -hmm. You can record it and it will write it for you or you can do voice memos if you just don't want to worry about how it's getting translated. Then you just can record, wow, this wonderful thing just happened. And then you can take it later, type it out and make it part of your journal. One phrase you used in that clip that we just showed that caught my attention was a learning journal. Yes. What is that exactly? Well, it can be a variety of things. A learning journal is where you're really taking more time to process what's happening to you. And I think this is a big bane of our existence. We don't do it. One lady I know, she takes one journal that she carries with her all day long. It's her planner, it's her thoughts, it's it's anything meeting she goes to. It's all in one place and that works for her. She loves it so that she knows anytime she wants to write something, it's right there. I know that for myself, learning journals can look like different things. Sometimes it can be smaller things. When I go to church, I take one little thought booklet that is just for writing notes for that day. And then another one, I'll do a gratitude journal and that's for me at night and then my laptop I'll do my family journal and a more deeper journal for me this is all different kinds of learning different experiences and different ways to do a journey a learning journal that works for you and makes it so that I really want to do this rather than oh that's another thing see I just counted four journals so you've sent the bar really high but even ah! if it's just one little notebook you say you change can do the it, word you can do it your way yeah, change the, change the word to little notebook because okay. I am like many other women some women who think you can't have enough notebooks so <laughs> it just little notebook if you just think little then it just pulls it back down and goes, oh, how fun. Oh, and there's different book. ways to do it rather than just think I've got to write it out. I get caught up in the guilt of it. I should be doing this. I'm not. Oh, any words of advice there? Yes. Make it fun. So if you want to doodle on the side or you just draw little pictures or you write a little cute note and a little star face with it or whatever, <laughs> whatever that looks like, but make it so that it's not a guilt inducing thing. Make it so that it's connecting. I will say this. Journaling is an, is an unexplored power. When you put your pen to paper or whatever it is that you do and you connect it back to you you're connecting your thinking and your emotions together and then it's making you a better person it's helping you to know who you are and we as women get so busy we don't sometimes even know who we are we're filling all these roles of women a mother and wife and it brings us back and lets us connect again that's the power of a journal so whatever way you get that just last week I was teaching an education week and I didn't do a lecture format so much I just started sharing some questions I teach for five ten minutes then ask some thought-provoking questions and let them write down their thoughts magic, the feeling that came in the room. You can do this anytime. So it's a really powerful thing. You're encouraging young writers to get involved too. Absolutely. And it's a two for today. I've got what every sixth grader needs to know for $1.99 on Amazon for the moms. And then Youth Journal's Redheaded Hostess has partnered with me for today. And so you get their journals for 30% off. It's both on my website. Awesome, fun, cute, doodling little fun things to do. A mommy-daughter activity. I yes. Like Connie, thank you.